Hello, wrestling fans. Dole King here with you at Bloomington, Illinois, for a nice, uh, great number, great episode of Big Time Wrestling. It's no longer called Big Time Wrestling Wednesday. It's just called Big Time Wrestling. And tonight we got an interesting main event. It's going to be Extreme Rules Tornado Tag Match. The Force, Jerry Bennett and Ronnie Taylor, take it on MSW World Champion Chaz Crossbones Foreman and the Cobra. That's right. Got that. We also got a tag, women's tag team title match here tonight, and we got a debut also. I heard. So uh, let's find out what's going on here, folks. All right. Now, of course, yeah. Thanks, 2K19. Uh, but you know, I can't really pick on uh, because I heard today that uh, they said that servers will be still staying up until the next Sim game comes out, which is going to be great. So we're not stuck in a tail with that 2K20 baloney. Thank goodness. I don't know how long this could be. I mean, maybe it can last until last next year. I mean, it would be great. Ah. Well, right there is the uh, general manager of Big Time Russell, of course, which is Mel Kayabu. And I'll tell you what, should be interesting. All right, let's get to the ring right now. We'll see what Malachi's got to say, shall we? There he is, folks. Headline himself, the new Tri American champion, Malachi Abramoff. And I'll tell you what, I mean, fans were shocked to see him defeat Jerry Bennett for that Tri American belt. But Malachi probably didn't shock himself. He, he, you know, this guy's always oozing confidence. Thank you, comrades. Thank you. Welcome to another edition of Big Time Wrestling from Bloomington, Illinois. I don't see nothing blooming here. I'll tell you that much right now. How could they call it Bloomington when they got nothing blooming here? Except there's a bunch of sour horses in the audience. Let me tell you that much right now. I know you hate me because I am the king of Tri America right now. That's one step closer to getting back my world title. And of course, I could challenge at any time because Bonnie, Bonnie Crumped Up Taylor. Is not the champion. And I'll tell you what, right now, Chaz Crossbones Foreman. I like what Chaz do. I like this Chaz. I'll tell you that much right now. If I wanted to, I could deliver Susie Chow on a platter today. But I'll tell you what, I know Friday night I got I got a rematch with that butthead done it. Once again, I get to embarrass him in front of this pretty Oh my gosh, it's going to be so much fun, it's going to be so exciting, and I'll tell you what, I can't wait, I can't wait, oh man, I can feel it in my, I can feel it in the, uh, I can feel it in the Chicago air chaos, oh wait a minute, who's coming out to the ring, uh oh, uh oh, who dare I, who dare I walk now, oh my gosh, Oh man. And I'll tell you, oh, it's a way who a champion, Jimmy Goldman. There he is, folks. What business does he have with Malachi Abramoff? We're gonna find out, I guess. And don't forget, folks, this is TVMA. Of course, language in adult situations. These kids under 18. Oh, Elokai Abamov. Yes, I heard of you. No, I heard you're the. I heard you're a businessman. I heard you're the most devious person there is on this roster. Maybe more devious than God knows what. Maybe, maybe not as devious as the Hillston Empire, but.
What is your point? What is your point, Ninja Turtle? What is your point, Yellow Ninja Turtle? Let me tell you that much right now. Look at you. They should have changed the costume to green. You could have been the law. You could have been the lost composite of Raphael. All you need is those little side knives to uh, go at it. But you know what? I'm gonna tell you what. Right? I'm gonna step up. I want a match against you. I want. I do want a match against you. I'll tell you what. Title or no title, I don't care. I want to prove. See if I got what it takes. Take your giant curse like a button. I'll tell you how much right now. I would love to give you a shot at the Toronto American title, but you know the MSW committee would not allow me to defend my title. No show. But you know what? Since you're an OG for a fight with a Ninja Turtle, I will take you on. I'll be glad to take you on. I'll guarantee you that much right now. We'll make it a deal. Good. As I, like I said, they said you wanted to be the best. You prove yourself against the best. But now you consider I the best because you had a Tri American title, which is a stepping stone to the world to me. It's held by the ugly guy known as Chaz. I know that's not Chaz all behind it. What do you know about Chaz? Let me tell you something right now. Maybe Chaz likes me the suits. I enjoy it. I enjoy the bounce of Ronnie Taylor off the bat. And it was beautiful. It was simply beautiful. Like he's been bouncing everybody else off the mat. I mean, Cobra and Viper have them trained in really well. Oh, you know. It's alright. I don't have to worry about it. All I have to do is worry about hitting your shoulders one, two, three. Showing that I can get another victory or something. Like I did take credit. I'll tell you that much right now. And Clayton is a game, is a good wrestler. It's a very good wrestler. You know, and what you're doing is good study at Clopton. No, I made him a rich man. I made him a very rich man. Don't you understand? When you, when you, uh, when you uh, know there's somebody that can uh, rule the world like right, it makes big money. And then he's finding out about that. His wife is finding out about that. His kids are gonna find out when they get that prestigious college education. See, I treat my the Padres well when they want to work for that. I I know ways to get rid of people that don't want to work for that thing for me, but yet I have ways. I'm helping people that do make me, uh, make me smile and be successful. Well, I'm Ninja Turtle. See you later on tonight. Oh my gosh. Hello, Kai Abrup and Jimmy Coldplay? Say it, is it so? We got the one heavyweight champion against the Tri American champion in a special challenge match. Wow. I think I heard coming up next we got that uh, debut. Oh. We got the debut here. We're going to find out who the heck is this guy that's coming out to the ring uh, in the debut. Oh, man. Look at that. Oh, look at that. We got another third generation wrestler coming into the circuit. Jericho Wyndham. That's right. I think I heard rumors that this is that this is Kendall Wyndham's kid. So you know who that that means? His uncles are Barry Wyndham and Mike Rotunda. His grandfather is the late great Black Jack Mulligan. Cousins, of course, are Bo Dallas and Bar and the fiend Bray Wyatt. So there was a lot of family bloodline in that one. And I think, uh, yeah, his aunt was a wrestler, too, that's married to Mike Rotunda. 
me see if I can get a little, uh, let me see if I can get a little report on that and see what the heck is her, na her name was. She might have wrestled as Wynina Lowheart or something like that, if I'm correct. I don't know. Please, please, old school wrestling fans, let me know. I would greatly appreciate it. Well, let's get to the ring right now as we see this matchup. Hey. So, you know what? Hey, it's going to be interesting. It's going to be interesting to see what kind of uh, bloodline Wyndham brings to the uh, family here. I mean, if he wrestles like Barry and Kendall, we're going to see some, uh, yeah, we're going to see some rough uh, wrestling there. I'll tell you that much right now. Here he comes, folks. Very cool window. Look at him. Wow. There he is. There he is uh, acknowledging the fans. Okay, I apologize. I, yeah, you know what? My fault there. So wrong. I thought she was, uh, yeah, I thought she was one. Yeah, you know what? Uh, somebody told me that uh, I was just married to one of uh, Malkin's, one of Malkin's daughters. It's a uh, rotunda. So my fault there. I, I take that back. Right now, Wyndham looking good, but Thorn, of course, he might have to speed advance because I'm going to be able to, oh! Look at that. Windham just came out of nowhere blasting with that close Oh, wow. Oh, almost. That would have been good. That would have been a quick victory for third generation series. Ah, and the fans are loving Jericho Windham already. Look at that, man. Yeah, you hear the cheers. Think he can be really, I think if he doesn't uh, stir over the dark side, he could be really a popular star here. His Uncle Barry. Uncle Barry joined the horseman, of course. Got that same lankiness, he's got that same uh, hairstyle, the same look, and everything with Uncle Barry. Jericho Wyndham now uh, with the super flex, that could be it. Get over there, Ralph Cow. That's it, Jericho Wyndham makes quick work of Shane Thorne. He knows he does, he does not get paid by the hour. That's going to be a kid to look after, man. That's something great second and third generation wrestlers coming in circuit. This is a prime example right here, Jericho Window. Wow. No, Ric Flair tries not to uh, get him under his wing because we all know what Ric Flair did to Barry. You know, Ric Flair does match Lorenzo Lucha, but if I know Ric Flair, he's always got ulterior motives. Now call him the dirtiest player in the game for nothing. There you go right there, man. You know, Wyndham make quick work. Look at Wyndham, uh, look. And the fans are, and the fans are happy with that one. 
This kid's gonna be a star, I got a feeling. No doubt about it. Jericho Wendell. Big win tonight. Ball. Doing good, how about yourself? If you don't know who I'm talking to, I'm talking to Christopher. And uh, coming up next, we got Queen of Wasteland. Rip, Rhea Ripley to get a rematch against Anya. Yeah. Ravishing red headed Russian. Yeah. Oh, Jerry Bennett later on tonight. He's, uh, he's wrestling Ronnie Taylor against. Uh, uh, Cobra and uh, Chaz Crossbones Foreman in the main event tag team Extreme Rules match. Oh no! Oh uh, you! Oh, oh, what are you saying? You are uh, you now associate yourself with Hillston? Oh boy, we just heard shocking news. I guess uh Christopher has seen like he left Tracy Torment for Hillston. Wow. I guess now he's a member of Hillston Empire. I'll be. Wow. I will be damned. <laughs> You'll take both of them, okay? We'll see. I guess what well, I guess Hillston Joe will just have to keep Tracy away from uh Crossbones Foreman then. Because those two have a very deep history among each other. Yeah. <laughs> oh boy. Of course it is. Yeah. Very. Better not forget that. Right. Uh, of course, let's. Uh, uh, of course, course language and adult situation. And here comes the Australian. And here comes the Australian punk rock princess herself, Rayo Rip. Of course, she's trying to get that after all losing it up uh, last week. Well, the good news about it, if you did not, I guess I heard something on a uh, YouTube video that, uh, I think it was some Smack Talks, if I'm correct, or something like that, uh, is that, uh, I guess the servers will be staying up till the next, uh, Sim game will be coming out for 19. Yeah, some like, yeah, 2K22, I would say, yeah. Yeah, you know it's like it's you know it's like okay, uh, it it seems like just arcade style action. That's what it is. It's like it seems more like a fighting game than a wrestling game. And I'm sorry to interrupt. I'm sorry to disappoint anybody that uh, is looking forward to the game. I do apologize. <laughs> just, just, yeah, just yeah, just a personal opinion. Even though they got a good uh, roster of characters, but still, it's like. I would prefer them to bring out Legend. I would prefer for them to bring out Legends game. Yeah. Yeah. You, yeah. It, yeah. That's the thing about All Stars. It's like I liked it at the beginning, but it's like you know you got tired of it quick. Yeah. Anya, it is, yes. And there she is with that belt that, uh, there she is with that belt that, uh, what, that rear rip was looking to get back. Yeah, sorry, I don't want anybody on the for anybody. Oh, sorry, no problem. Yeah. Hey, it happens, man. It happens, man. It's cool. 
Of course, if you don't know, Rhea Ripley has a tag team in. Uh, she also is in tag team action in MSW. She's been tag team with the returning Shotzi Black. Ballsy. Well, the ball it was at the quote unquote, and I'll say it again, excuse my bluntness, but the ballsy badass from the black will do it. That's what she says she is, and uh, she she has to, she has backed it up basically. Let's put it that way. Yeah, a ravishing right-handed Russian, the triple R. And right now, oh, and Rayla Ripley playing head scissors. Oh, uh, sorry to hear that. And Anya right now has got Ray Ripley at, yeah. And Anya's got Ray Ripley out of mercy there. Now Anya put in the corner and Ray Ripley, oh man, what a high knee right now. Ray Ripley is not playing around tonight, it looks like. Yeah, definitely. Give us a follow and if you watch on YouTube, like and subscribe. Definitely. Yeah, definitely. I would greatly, yeah, it was, uh, Ramp 712 would greatly appreciate it. <laughs> head, oh, and head and arm suit put by Rayo Ripley, and Anya looks like she's suffering etc. and head number 70, 777. She was holding her head there after that suplex. Oh, and Anya coming back with a right... Oh, uh, you, you mo yeah, yeah, mostly Wednesdays and Fridays. We haven't been able to get Superstar. Yeah, we haven't been able to do it. Uh, we haven't been able to do it on Mondays because, uh, I guess the uh, the, the play of real life getting interesting now. Yeah, that's like yeah. And right now, Ripley going right. Yeah. Oh, and Rip oh man, and Ripley with a kick. Wow. And now Ripley taking it, taking uh, Anya. She just nailed her with a skull crusher finale on the outside. Oh, oh man, and that, and that carpet's not really protected. Oh, torpedoes the back way to the oh, hotel. Right. Anya may have to see a Cairo back in the top. Yeah, actors. I'm sorry, I stuck about a business. <laughs> hey, you never know. There might be ones that are on call. Be surprised. Oh, and uh, Ripley. Oh man, Ripley may be going along for a while because she just got a back on the eight on you. Oh, and a high knee right in the face. Wow. Oh, bulldog on the outside. Ouch. I'm actually surprised. I would not be. I would be surprised if Ray Ripley's nose was out. Oh, and again. Oh man, flatliner on the face. Anya's playing, you know, I thought Ray Ripley was playing hardball, but Anya is too. Wow. Oh. Forget, forget. Yeah. You got Major League Baseball, you got Must See Wrestling to play hardball. And what? Oh, you got Melon. Oh, Melon. Oh, my gosh. Now, I wonder who's going to show up anywhere tonight. There's a kick right away. Yeah. Oh, he did? I wasn't paying attention there. My fault. Yeah. Okay, no, he hasn't shown up yet tonight, but uh, I know he was there last week on Cause of Trouble. I don't know. Do I see him? Yeah, I see him. 
Almel saying go red. I got. I guess Almel's gonna try to get date. I wonder if Almel's gonna try to get date with Anya after this match is over. He's such a desperate old man. Okay. Oh man. Oh man, and Ray Ripley now. Uh oh. Oh, pump handle power slam by uh, Ray Ripley. Now, now Ray, if she was she was smart. She'd get her back in the ring and go for the pin. I mean, like I said once again, Jericho Window proved in the first match tonight that they don't get paid by the hour by taking out taking a uh, quick uh, work of Shane Thorne tonight. What took was a Larry and a Superplex. Him to win. Very important. Very impressive. Yeah. I mean, Shane Thorne, yeah, you may, uh, you may, you may call him some kind of mid carter and stuff like that, but you can still give somebody a run for the money. Give him the white knight to do that. Oh, man, and Anya kicks out. Yeah. Oh, it sounds good, yeah. Oh, and Anya now. Oh, nice arm drag. And a champion. Anya now got the uh, challenger over and Ripley gets her head bounced off the uh, rope there. Yes. Uh oh. Oh boy. Oh, there it is. The red scare. She calls that. Oh man, and Anya's what? Man, Anya has been Ray Ripley twice. Oh my gosh. Say, is it so? Wow. Yeah. And she calls it the Red Scare. Yeah. Red Scare because of her home country in Russia, I guess. Red, red Fun on Fire. Red, red, red Trying to say Red's on Fire. That's why I write this. Go Kenny right now happens to be in North Olmstead, Ohio right now, where uh, he's still uh, he's not allowed to wrestle ever again because of the concussion he suffered from uh, Royce Isaacs and Tom Latimer. And they bounced him around with two hush bunnies. Yeah, it was in a match where it was Kenny and Meacher against uh, Royce Isaacs and Tom Latimer. What happened was Royce Isaacs nailed him with two hush bunnies and then Tom Latimer Dealing with a vicious back suplex, which easily got him the pin. And as a result, I guess uh, Kenny's, uh, what, well, Kitty Cat has not allowed him to wrestle. Doesn't, doesn't want him to get another uh, reckless injury like that. Yeah, that could. Yeah, so Anya is still a champion. Still, still the queen of hardcore. Well, folks, still got more action still to come. Stay tuned. Coming up here, folks, if you want to know what this is, this is an eight-man battle royal, a captain's battle royal. Now, just to let you know, if you did not watch last Friday, the Wild Cards won the MSW Tag Team titles from Wolfcho to Lorenzo. As a result, the Tri-American titles are vacant. But well, we already know team number one, since they were supposed to get a rematch, would be the Furies. This is going to represent who's going to be represent team number two in this captain's battle. I'll let you know who they represent. Brad no Bomber, he's representing himself in Baron Von Barkas. Davey Boy Smith Jr. is representing himself in Billman Jr. with the Art Foundation. Nick Aldis is representing himself in Samoa Joe from the Main Event Mafia. And of course, Jeff Hardy, we know who he's representing. Himself and Matt Hardy. Then we got the wild card. Then we got the wild card in this one. 
Shinsuke Nakamura represent himself and Cesaro. If you don't know, Nakamura and Cesaro are the SmackDown Tag Team Champions right now. Demolition Man, who represents himself in the Threat of the Cousins of Carnage. Brian Fisher, who represents himself and Marvelous Merle in the Murder Machines. And Kyle Bennett, who represents himself in Terminus and Red Dawn. So there you go. Jeff will lose five million dollars in there. Jeff will lose five million dollars, whoever pins. Oh, five million dollars, whoever pins Jeff. Wow, whatever that means. Oh man, what? Okay, all right, man. Uh, okay, come on now, uh, get, get, get off the sauce. I'm making a. You're not even making coherent sentences, sir. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Yeah. Royal butt. Oh boy. All right. Bluetooth. <laughs> gotcha. Oh, gas. Oh, gosh. Oh, jeez. Oh, gas. Oh, jeez. Oh boy, you just heard that correctly, yeah. Crazy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Nakamura, who's going to represent, if he wins, he represents himself in Cesaro. If you don't know correctly, yeah. okay, yeah, we have uh, taken in SmackDown logic. He's tag team champions with Cesaro. We're having to beat the New Day, and they put Kofi Kingston out that. Ha! Ah. New Day's got uh, had their day in his son. <laughs> and here is Nick Aldis, the National Treasure, aka Magnus. Of course, everybody knows who his wife. Yeah, everybody knows who his wife is. It's uh Mickey James, if you did not know. Yeah. I no, I downloaded him. Yeah, very good download. I'll tell you that much right now. All I just said was my all, all Vampiro 712 did was just modify the hair and uh, change the color of the tights. So he did. You see, originally he had originally like uh what red tight. He had originally like red tights like that, but he decided to make them blue because he saw in an episode of NWA Power. Now, Chris Ray has no championship right now. The question is, is he going to be able to get a uh, double rematch against Robert Bannis coming up this Friday? We'll find out. Oh, <laughs> well, right now, his old tag team partner, Chaz Foreman. Yeah, his old tag team partner, Chaz Foreman, make a, I guess they're calling crossbones now because that's what he's dressed up like. Basically, he has a uh, 
title defense against the former champion Ronnie Taylor's. Ah, I got you. You want to go pink and green? Ah, okay. I keep hearing that Chris Ross go pink and green, ladies and gentlemen. Wow. El Gasso, I let, yeah. Interesting to see him on broadcast, El Gasso. Oh, jeez. <laughs> oh, uh, yeah, Melody Tonic, he's, he's, a, he's a stepdad of Melody Tonic, which was married to Corey Droitman. Okay. Yeah, that's what's going on with that. We heard some story that Mickey James, yeah, we heard that some story that Mickey James is the uh, mother of No Tonic, so that means that makes uh, Mickey James Corey Crichton's uh, mother in law. And here comes Davy Boy Smith Jr. Rick, and what an impressive athlete he is. I'll tell you that much right now. He's done his father proud. No doubt about it. Yeah. yeah, definitely. I want to see I, I want to see MLW get back on the air and uh, see him defeat Jacob Batu for that world title. I wouldn't mind seeing that. And of course with COVID, uh, of course with the uh, with the with, with, yeah with the pandemic, I guess uh, that just lengthened uh, title reigns for people in the independents. Yeah. I think I heard something like Nick Aldis is going to be defending the NWA. Well, you know, on side note here uh, from the non-show notes, I'm going, to, I'm going to go out of character here for a second. Nick Aldis, I think, is going to be defending the uh, NWA title on uh, a little thing called NWA Primetime coming up Tuesday, September 15th. This NWA is going to finally get back in a track there, thank goodness. Still, I miss those guys a lot. Oh, that is the murder machines. He tags over Marlo Smurl. That is Ryan Fisher. Yeah. Yeah. That's Coffee Man's longtime tag team partner. And uh, like I said, once again, Merle and Fisher, what they kind of remind you of is a blueprint of uh, Tony Blanchard and Arn Anderson. They've been very, uh, they've been a very, uh, yeah, they're, they're, they're very, uh, it could be a very durable tag team, definitely. I'll tell you that much. And of course, one of the members of the Winter Circle, along with Dwight and TV champion Adam Strange. What? Of course, is that uh all? -oh. Uh oh. Al Mills claim. Al Mills claim the force is going to be dead tonight against uh, Cobra and Crossbones. Yeah, I wonder if he is or not. Who knows? Ah. Here comes Bratton Old Bomber. Oh, that's all. Ah. Here is the Bratton Old Bomber coming to the ring right now. He's been on a streak as late. He knocked out. He knocked out Mr. Resistor in a Last Man Standing match last week. They look, when they look bad for Rick Flair, I'll tell you that much right now that Rick Flair has a, announced that he was managing this movie system. I'm actually surprised you don't have a t-shirt out there that says Texan is dumb. <laughs> yeah, 
All right. All right. All right. right there, folks. New T-shirt come to stand. This was new T-shirt. Text them as doll. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. You're going to put it on the back. Okay. New improved T-shirt. Put text them as dumb on the back. And here comes Jerry's a strange brother, Kyle. I'm a turn this. This one half a turn this whip. I mean, one half a red dog with turn this. Let me get that correct there. I'm sorry. Should be interesting. This should be interesting because, uh, I'll tell you what, this should be interesting because, like I said, Match up Warner team, the other slot in that title, uh, the, the match for the vacant trimer. Yeah, Kyle Bennett, yes. Yeah, he's been teaming up with Terminus, as late known as a uh, Red Dawn, I guess. Terminus, of course, is the strange. Well, if you don't know who Terminus is, he's the one that looks like Zanya, but he's also the strange brother. Oh, Malachi Avalon. We came that night. Oh, that's his bro younger brother. Broke on a scene years ago. Yeah. He broke on a scene a couple years ago, and, uh, was, I guess he was, uh, trying along with his brother, but all of a sudden, then, uh, and then. Was a full on team up with Malachi Avalon, and now he's teaming up with Terminus, known as Red Dawn. And Jeff Hardy going after Dating Boy Jr. Oh boy. Here we go. And Bob. Oh, and there goes Bomber. Wow. Oh man, the odds on favorite. He's been taken out by. Oh, Kyle Bennett, the bulky. Oh my gosh. That shows you never blink when you watch a battle. Run. If somebody could be out instantly. Yeah. Well, how long they've been in a circuit for? I think like uh, well in the wrestling business all together, I think they've been in business for 30 years. Yeah. Yeah. I think I even remember watching these guys at the Independence years ago when uh, I think they used to wrestle in the uh, Carolina, somewhere in the Carolinas. Uh, oh no, it used to be ECWA, which is called, which is a little famous federation that has a Super 8 tournament down there and uh, thing, uh, basically, which they had a lot of future winners from there. Yeah, I noticed that. Yeah. <laughs> I know Tommy Drainer is still fighting too. Yeah. Right. Uh, no, the only ones you got you the only ones you got in there are hitting the uh still hitting the big time stuff would be like uh Still got Rhino and the Rock and Dan and like uh, Impact right now. Yeah. Yeah. For what I heard, I heard not. You know, I think it's not going to happen anymore because I think I heard that um, uh, was Undertaker's been officially retired. Retired from this past summer. Yeah, so uh, he's finally hanged it up. Yeah, he'll, he, oh, no doubt. Oh, no, oh, and there goes Jeff Hardy. Oh, man. Shinsuke Nakamura just got rid of Hardy. Wow. Nakamura.
This is Ron Percy Bob, my official Nurkos Fish. Wow, Nakamura just got one day, one day him. Wow, Nakamura may be making a strong case for himself as his arrow. Yeah, that's all right. And here comes that. And here comes the battle of the jet. Here comes the battle of the muscle men here. Davy Boy and Demolition Man. Demolition Man trying to get rid of him, man. Yeah. Ah. Gotcha. Ooh. Uh oh, and what is Ky uh oh, Kyle's gonna try to get rid of uh, Demolition Man. It's alright, don't, don't worry, man. Cool. Oh, and Davy Boy just got broke first on the wall. I knocked him over. Uh, oh, Davy Boy set him up. Oh, I'll try. Wow. But that make Joe Kenny proud. Joe Kenny sees the power grab. Gonna retire to do the concussion. He suffered a bad concussion when, uh, like I said, Royce Isaacs hit him with two lunch runs and then killer was, uh, Vladimir, you know, with that devastating back suplex that knocked him out. I think after that match at night, you know, unfortunately, it had to take Nietzsche and a couple of minutes to get in the ring and help him get it off. Oh. And Davey Boy going after Nakamura. Wow. Oh. Now, oh, Davey Boy going to take. Gonna be the giant to try to take down Gilmore man. He does with a backseat. Beautiful. And Kyle Bennett now. Oh no. Maybe Al Mel's trying to ask on maybe maybe may, yeah, maybe Al Mel's trying to ask on you on Dave, who knows? Uh oh, David boy, where's he going? Uh oh. Man, we're gonna sit out power bomb on Demolition Man by Davy Boy. Beautifully caught. Davy Boy is on a tear right now. Oh, just busted uh, Demolition Man over with the, uh, with the, with the no, with a knuckle sandwich. Oh, power slam on Bennett. Wow. Davy Boy is on a tear. Oh, Davy Boy, go after Demolition Man. And did he get him out? Oh, he's got him up. All he's got to do is turn him on his stomach with the turtle. And no, don't watch him, man. Because re resist. And Davy Boy with an elbow to knock him off. And oh, man, a clothesline. Knock him off, felt that one. And now, Davy Boy seems like he has a problem with don't watch him, man. Samoa drop. Oh, and he gets caught up by Kyle Bennett right now. Oh, and Davey Boy just got busted open. Oh, good to see. And uh, Davey Boy trying to resist being eliminated by Kyle Bennett. Kyle Bennett's going to have to pull a loop again, which it doesn't work for him as he uh, gets caught up by Demolition Man. Could be, yeah. David Boy's got a lot of, yeah, David Boy can put a lot of resistance behind him to be eliminated. He gets caught up, unless he gets caught by Dumb Walk, I guess. Which is, uh, if he's battle with, oh, and Dumb Walk Man just got thrown out of the ring by Kyle Bennett. Wow. Yeah. A Kyle the Giant Killer, I guess you could say. Not the more resist, uh, Davy Boy trying to eliminate him. Oh, wait a minute. Uh oh. Oh, man. Shin Breaker. Shin Breaker. 
Oh, there might be a good chance. I mean, they're still in it. Both those guys are. And Nakamura now. Was he? Was he going for it here? Uh oh. Oh boy. Oh, what a drop kick! Oh, Bennett. And oh, what's Nakamura? Uh oh. Oh, Nakamura. Is he going for that Milwaukee no Kinshasa? Oh no, he hit him with a no drop kick. That's still a fact up, I'll tell you that much right now. Oh, Ben would be a little bit tall. Oh, that invert slam. Yeah. That sure was, you better believe it. Now, and what's, oh, Danny Boy got the, uh oh, you're not Kyle. Oh, and uh, Nakamura catches being for the kick. Oh, wow. Unbelievable. Uh oh. Oh, Shasha. And Shasha. Right. Yeah, Kyle Ben. Yeah, Kyle Ben got gone. It's gone, Chrissy and Danny Boy. And uh, can he get Nakamura? This would be uh, for, oh, and Nakamura finds out way resistance basically, and uh, doesn't get eliminated yet. Uh oh, Nakamura's got in trouble. Oh, board Buster. Shades of Arn Anderson right there, folks. Ah. And Gore Buster was one of his first moves he ever used before the DET and Spine Buster. Arn Anderson, one of the, Arn Anderson, one of the best tag team wrestlers around. He's probably, he's probably smiling at this right now. Watching it. Uh oh, Nakamura, baby. Uh oh. Gotta pull him over. Oh, he does, and Davey Boy's gonna win this. There you go. Davey Boy has done it. Congratulations to him. He just earned himself a film in a tag team. I was shocked this Friday night. He'll be going against the Furies for the vacant tri American title. Big win for D boy. <laughs> yeah, Ronnie's got Ronnie had the MSW title, but now he wants a Chaz Foreman. As Chaz beat Ronnie Friday night. <laughs> All right. Oh, there you go right there. There's your winner right there, Davey Boy. As him and Pillman will get the title, title shot against the Furies this Friday night for the vacant Try American Tag Team title. Little Pop Kenny sounds interesting, man. All right. Ah, God. And coming up next, we got Mill. Coming up next, we got an interesting matchup. Melanie McMahon against Dana Brooke. This was made Friday night after Asia was was wrestling a uh, handicap match against Jerry Missile, Monica Del Rey, and came very close to winning it during the commercial break. But Melanie McMahon decided to stick her nose in and make a three on one attack. Melody Ray would come in the ring and try to say, Try to save Asia, but she got double team. It was a three on two, and then Dana Brooke out of nowhere came out there and uh, fended off the Vixens Club. So this what and Dana Brooke then issued a challenge to any of the Vixens Club members, and Melody McMahon answered the challenge. 
Oh no, I heard rumors that Melanie McMahon Melanie McMahon did mention that uh Tracy Torment is her mom. I think I could see the similarities, yeah. No, Melly McMahon is not Chess Foreman's daughter. We uh no, that is not one of Chess Foreman's children. I think the one that she uh, you know what Chess and Tracy were married and they produced two children, Adam and uh Angie. AK Star Angel has been out of action for a while. Was that Christopher's daughter then? I don't know, maybe. Maybe, who knows? Oh man, this would be interesting. That turns out to be true. Holy cow! Wow! The mystery mill is open. Is blown wide open. Oh my gosh! Here we go, folks. Let's get to this bout right now. Melody McMahon against Dana Brooke. There she is, folks. Coming down the ring with her mother, Tracy Torment, which we found out Friday night. It was a shock. <laughs> oh, oh, oh my gosh. Like I said, yeah, you know what? If you watch this, make sure to watch it on Twitch because the, the forum has got some wild stuff. I'll tell you that much right now. You watch it on Twitch. Definitely, I agree. And there is Dana Brooke. Yeah. Dana Brooke from the... There, there she is, folks, with Asia Paul right there. Of course, these two are half sisters because we found out that Dana Brooke is the daughter of Nova and Joe Master from a previous relationship years ago. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, all good, man. Not to worry. I understand. All right. And Dana Brooke, I'll tell you what she. Uh, yeah, I'll tell you. I'll tell you about Dana Brooke. She's got to be one of. She's got to be one of one of the best female athletes in shape. I'll tell you that much right now. No doubt about it. Question is, question is, how is she gonna hold up against the devious Melody McMahon? Okay. <laughs> if she does have some assets, I'll tell you that much right now. Definitely, no doubt about it. Just keep it at that. Yeah. Dana Brooke going right to work on Melody, and Asia's got to be loving this. No, in fact, about Dana Brooke and Asia Cole, they were one, they were one time, four time uh, MSW uh, ladies tag team champs. Question is, well, now with them being reunited, would this mean that they may be going back uh, to maybe tag teaming? Who knows? Oh no, and oh man, skull crushing finale by McMahon. Oh man. Nah. No, I don't like this. Yeah. Uh, uh, you can call it Skull Crush of Valley. Many, many names, that move has many names. The stroke by Jeff Jarrett. And then, of course, you have the Elijah Experience by Elijah Punch, aka the Pope. Yeah. And right now, Dana...
picking with Melody. Oh man, and uh, ran out, runs right into Melody's knee, which finds a mark on her that oh, and another knee right in the face of Dana. But I follows her right in the back. And look at that, Tracy throwing a chair in there already. Are you kidding me? <laughs> right now, Dana Brooke now. Oh man, and uh Melody using the referee's advantage by uh hiding behind the referee when Dana was trying to grab her and uh Melody takes advantage of that. Right. It happens to play the role like. Right. I know, it's just reason uh, you know what? I gotta admit, uh, I'm happy because uh I just recently got a couple subscribers on Twitch here with uh Trap God Marco and uh I'd like to welcome Trap God Marco and Hired Hitman twenty three. Welcome. Yeah, definitely. Oh, and Dano Brooks just got taken over on top by Billy McMahon. And uh oh, Tracy better be careful not to lay a finger on Dana because she can get Melody to disqualify. Oh, man. It'd be possible, you never know, uh, if somebody gets her hands on her. But right now, she's, got, she's well protected by the Dixons. Oh, what's this? Uh oh, what is Melody doing to a? Oh gosh! Oh, are you kidding me? Numerous headbutts to Dana. Oh my gosh! Well, Dana's gonna be done. She's gonna. Oh. Right? <laughs> and uh oh, what's Melody gonna do? Oh, and there's the elbow. Not quite macho, but it works. Yeah, it's like, yeah, that's the problem about when you got an expanded roster. The bad, the bad thing about it's like I noticed it's like it's tough to get everybody on the card. It's like you got to try to uh, go meet your time for it. Yeah, well, yeah, for yeah, uh, first the subscribers and then everybody else. I mean, first whoever has a character in there, you gotta give them, you gotta give them the credit. I definitely give them the prestige. On a show, and Asia doing turn about. Oh man, what a sequence! Oh man, Dana Brooks. Ah, yeah. Who's he? May not the may not may not the thing about bring him in. Who knows? Yeah. No, Leo Rush right now. Yeah, unfortunately right now Leo Rush is on the WWE. Not with him anymore. Yeah. Oh, and he only he only had yeah he only had one year. I was in nineteen only. It's uh no mobile content. Yeah, she does. Oh, oh man, Melody McMahon with the page turn. And uh oh, is Asia distracting the referee? Uh, they could, uh, she couldn't even get a count. Wow. She may have saved Dana Brooke a chance at the. She may have saved Dana Brooke a chance at the. You know, oh no. Oh. Oh, ow. Oh. And Dana, oh man, and Dana unfortunately, Dana had unfortunately submit. Oh man. Melody McMahon wins. Oh man. Yeah, wow. Melody McMahon, uh, man, just get a submission out of Dana Brock. Oh my gosh.
Now, Melody, I think I heard is 21. Who knows? I think I heard correctly. <laughs> Dana right there showing some good good showing some very good moves right there against Melody, but unfortunately she wound up on the short end. Yeah. There was right there there was a there was the beginning of the end as she hit that page turner, then she would get that submission on her and they gonna show it here. And there you and there you go right there, she's going for the pin. Uh, she was going for a pin, and Asia distracted her, but here, here was the finish right here, folks. That was on his vacation, oh yeah. Oh, interesting. I hope, I hope he has a good time down there. Uh, yeah, Prince Mikel, I would suggest you uh, check out some of his stuff on I think was an F FLH and uh, one other one. I know that much. Yeah. Gotcha. I'm trying to think of other uh, people subscribe to Christopher Hovis, of course, and you got uh, Shockwave Wrestling. Got Mark Seventy Six is another good one too. I just got. I I just been watching them as like with the WCW. 1990 stuff, which is really good. Oh, and here's the new, here is the new NWA champion, Robert McManus. I who beat, I who beat uh, Christopher and Sting in a triple threat match to win that title. I wonder what's bringing him out here to the uh, crowd. I wonder uh, what's going to go on here tonight. We'll find out. Yeah, maybe we'll have to go back in time. Yeah, maybe, maybe you know, it wouldn't be a bad idea to see him. Maybe we can go back in time and go get Harley Race. He was a former seven-time NWA champion. Hello, everybody. You know, it's been a great weekend. I'm going to tell you how much right now. I'd like to thank you fans for supporting me. I mean, it's great. I am now the NWA World Champion. Do you know what this means? I'm on the list with such legends as Dusty Rhodes, Ric Flair, Ricky Steamboat, Terry Funk, Jack Briscoe, Nick Aldis, Cody Rhodes, Dusty Rhodes, Roy Funk Jr., and of course, and of course, that weenie in pink by the name of Crystal. I'll tell you what, right now, it's like that. that oh, yeah, Corey Crichton. I mean, uh, you know, Lorenzo got a grudge against him. But you know what? I'm not going to have a grudge against him. You got to acknowledge everybody on that list. Whoever you hate, whoever you love. I mean, the list goes on. There's a lot of great legends in those guys. I mean, you know what? Nobody else understand the prestige behind this belt. It's incredible. First champion I remember was Carl Gotch in 1908, if I'm correct. I mean, there's a lot, yeah. So you know what? It's going gonna, it's gonna to take a lot of hard work and dedication for me to become as great as one of those guys. Oh, oh no. Oh boy. Yeah. Oh, it is Christopher. Oh, my gosh. What does he got to say to McManus? Oh, boy. All right.
Robert McQueenie, how you doing, man? I mean, you know what? I heard about you win the NWA title for me, but you know what? Let's admit what it is, man. You had another person involved helping you. It was a two-on-one conspiracy against me. You and Sting managed to double team to the end. I mean, I wanted to make sure I didn't have to tell him my waist. Ah, oh, for heaven's sakes, man, you were going to take that beautiful belt and paint it pink. What the heck is wrong with you? And what were you, you going to do? Make that stretchable Starburst candy? I can't let that happen, man. You cannot desecrate something as great as the NWA World Title. I'll tell you what, I heard you have a rematch coming up Friday. We're going to go at it, man. You know what? I want my steel cage up on it. So, you. So, McWeenie, you want me to shred the weenie in the cage, huh? You want me to shred the weenie in the cage? I can make a platter out of that, buddy. Because you know what? You're going to be bloody after I get the old job. You know, I'm not going to be satisfied with just being the title. I'm going to be satisfied by beating the face in. And you know what? I'm going to deliver Susie the crossbones. Oh, don't you dare put your hands in my plate. No, 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 no. That is not going to happen. You know what? You are not going to, you're not going to handle my wife to that monster. You know what? If that happens, God help you, man. Because you know what? After I get done with you, I'm going to go after Crossbones. And I'm going to take away his title, too. No, something. Let me tell you something right now, but me. It ain't going to happen. Number one. I will deliver your wife to the crossbones as a little treat after midnight treat. But number two, you know what you have to go against him for the MSW World Tile, I guarantee you, I don't give you two seconds to last the last against the crossbones. I may not hold a victory against crossbones, but you know what, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something right now. I have held my own against crossbones. You, man. But you know what, it's going to be. And the result's going to be the same Friday as it was a couple of weeks ago. I will defeat you. I will keep the NWA title. End the story. No, no, no. Not the end. Oh, man. Oh. Christopher takes out his frustration on uh, McMan McManus, or what he calls McWeenie. Oh, man. And Oh, man. Ouch. Boy, he made, he made his head pop with that move. Oh, are you kidding me? Alright, sounds good. Thank you. Oh, man, and oh. McMahon, McManus is getting uh, nailed here. Oh, but McManus is making a comeback. Uh-oh. Now, close line in the corner takes down Christopher. And these two just don't like each other. These two just don't. <laughs> John Cena now. John Cena looks more like Ernest P. Whirl. On steroids. Oh boy, what's he gonna do, McMahon? Oh, man, the shoulder went in the post. Oh, man. McManus may be in trouble for Friday. Oh, boy. Was he... What the... Oh, man. And Christopher just went ape, ape stink all over uh, McManus there. Stay tuned, folks. I think coming up next we got Jimmy Coldblood Jr. against... Malachi Averoff. Oh, we lost the connection with Christopher right now, but uh, he wants to call back. He's welcome to, definitely. No doubt about it. Coming up next, Jimmy Coldblood-Gier taking on Malachi Averoff. And wait a minute. Who the heck is that with uh, Averoff? Is that? Oh, my gosh. It seems like Averoff gets his hands on the ladies all the time, as it looks like. Marissa Salt is hanging around with him? Oh my gosh. Oh man. They ain't so. Right?
Oh, I guess he'll be right back, he says. So we'll all be, we'll be seeing him momentarily. Let me enter us a matchup. First time that these two are uh, met up. All right, let's get this match going here. There is, folks, the light heavyweight champion. And here comes uh, Al Kai Abrov, the Tri American Champion. Of course, right behind him is, I guess, his newest squeeze, Marissa Salt. Wow. Al Kai said he had some from, he had a thing for Marissa Salt, so it's shown right here, folks. Because he wasn't kidding. Okay, going out with Jimmy Copeland Jr. Okay, going right out there with the uh
Old Bluff family, it's weak. Will you stop it, Al Mellon? Old Bluff family is a, is a uh, great family of Russ. And a uh, beautiful uh, whoop up there by Oh, what a power bomb at Jimmy Goldwood. Which is, I wonder if Alvin was really concerned with this matchup because number one, his tail is not aligned. for a pen. the deadline. There's a pump animal nut breaker, folks. And there's that finisher. Oh, man. and go cold blood, wow. Oh, well, bro, that single, beautiful single leg crab on. Malachi gets out of it. Well, Malachi he looks like he's going for it again. Oh, no. 
It's about another one of those who knows. It does. Jimmy Coldwell Jr. gets the pick. Now here's a situation I don't want to know about. Now look, I retains the Tri American title. That could be possibly the next contender as to defend that title against. win for uh, Jimmy Copeland Jr. That is a very big win after suffering a, uh, yeah, that, that's a very big win after suffering a uh, that loss last week to Adam Strange in an attempt to win the TV title. This might be a door to all bigger things for Jimmy Copeland Jr. Who knows? Nonetheless, Tell you that much. Impressive win. That, and that's your, that's definitely a uh, confidence booster on uh, Jimmy Coldblood. Like you didn't have the confidence before, but that really adds it all. Big win for Jimmy Coldblood here. Yeah. Congratulations. Coming up next, next matchup is going to be for the women's tag team titles. And as for the women's tag team titles right here, the law, you know, Mona and Raquel, I think they may have written a book on tag team wrestling. So far, they ran off six or seven straight title defenses. And tonight, they get to go against uh, a team that beat them in their, beat them the first time around in uh, Ashley Fox and, Ken, and Kylie Ray. Be the main factor that uh, the Mona and Raquel learn anything from the first time round going against these two. Are they going to wind up losing? Are they going to wind up losing the titles again to their? I guess you can call the Achilles heel. Would be uh, of course. Kylie Ray and uh, she box. Well, Sarah's gonna hope maybe not, or she can say maybe hope, hope it's true. Here we go, folks. I'm ready to get this one going.
Here they are, folks, the Tag Team Champions, going on Rock Hill, along with Sarah Perry. Well, Mona and Raquel, I'll tell you what, like I said, once again, Sarah Perry's got this uh, tag team gunning on all cylinders. I give it a, you gotta give it a, I'll tell you that much right now. Oh. I don't know, that's a good question. I don't know what's going on with Sir Perry and uh, Bamp 712. That's a good question. Uh, that is a good question. I don't know what's going on with those two. I mean, it seems like they're keeping their uh, relationship, if it is, they're keeping their relationship uh, like, uh, was it silent? They don't want to, uh, because they don't want to be a target of, uh, scrutiny in the wrestling world. Who knows? That could be it. There's the champs right there, Mona and Raquel. We get going here, folks. This matchup. And Mona going right ahead with Ashley Box. Ashley Fox, like I said, uh, Fox and Kylie Ray are a really good tag team, too. I'll tell you that much right now. There's no doubt about it. Uh, let's call it what it is. Fox has got Mona in trouble. Look right now that she's going to uh oh but she uh way too long and now she's in trouble curse the uh tag team champion Mona and now uh oh uh oh what the heck that, what? I can't I swear to what just happened my gosh dangerous air the dangerous throwing of air 
never mind, I'm not even gonna recognize what I'm not gonna Oh what the heck was that? Oh my god. Gosh. Oh that's messed up, man. Yeah, that was a little messed up, folks. Oh, man. Oh, what it is. That was a little big mess, though. Right now, Rock. Oh, Raquel. Oh, you look. Did, did Raquel just tell her to kiss her ball? Oh, and Ashley Box is going to take offense to that, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, what a kick right there. Raquel, man, there we go again. Raquel almost had the pit. Oh my gosh. Look at Mona Strut. Oh my gosh. Okay, uh, yeah, there we go. We just had a little commercial break there. Ray, what a tag team match going on here. 
Ah. Oh, they knew that does score dirty, yeah. All right, man. It happens. Stuff happens. Oh, Mona now got Kylie Ray in trouble. That was a right in the back. Oh no, oh sh oh, and Kylie Ray just got, looks like she just got knocked out. But she's gonna go for no, no more. That move that she likes in that set out. Tombstone pile driver and, no, it doesn't look like it. Oh, ouch. What a nasty, uh, flip out of the corner. And uh, what's going on here, and uh oh. Oh no! Oh! Percussion maker it is! Oh, and Ashley Box comes in just in the nick of time! Oh, oh man, and uh, Box just got DDT! Wow, oh, this will be a good time for the champions to take advantage! Oh boy! Might be! Hold us on a roll here! Ah, uh, sandwich either! Driver. Old school game changer, and that might be it. Oh man, and uh, Mona Raquel Contino. Are you kidding me? I think it's title defense number seven. Mona Raquel. Mona Raquel continue to win. Look at Sarah Perry, so happy of her girls. Oh my gosh. Yeah, and we. There are your winners right there. Oh my gosh. Oh. All right, folks, coming up next, main event time it is. Ooh, hey, there he is, folks, the Hillston Empire, the Cobra and Crossbones. They're ready to meet up against. As Foreman and a Cobra. Going against the Force. The Empire versus the Force. Man, if that doesn't sound like a Star Wars story, then I don't know what does. But, uh, Harry Bennett and Ronnie Taylor. Wow. Should be a good match up here, folks. Hey, Taylor, he's going to hopefully he can win this one tonight because he wants to get, like, some momentum going for him in the rematch Friday night against Chaz Foreman in Chicago.
All right, let's get this belt going. This should be a good one, man. There we are, folks. Oh, man. There's a deadly combo right there. Oh, man. Of course, Viper will not be allowed to be at ringside or at Hiddleston because this is extreme rules. Entrants are banned from ringside. How it is. That is how it is. And there is Jerry Better right there. Yes, folks, Jerry Bennett, and uh, I'll tell you what, he's got a big opportunity to party in when he goes against Malachi Averill once again in an uh, Extreme Rules match for the Tri-American title. Well, if you didn't watch it last Friday, Anya played a very important part in that matchup as she threw a chair in there and then tried to take the turnbuckle off the post. Ruffy was distracted, took the turnbuckle off. And Malachi managed to take advantage and take Smack Ben to a chair. I guess when the referee doesn't see it, it's legal. Not much I could say. Oh my gosh, and there is Ronnie Taylor. Here we go, folks. Oh man, here's the battle of the former friend Jerry, and uh, Chess just took over a suplex right tail on you, man. It's going right, it's going down a snake.
And Jerry Ben now going after Chaz Foreman. And... Right now, Lonnie Taylor to go around, and there's a shape of things to come Friday night. This happens. Lonnie Taylor now, oh, there's a high knee. Chess for oh no. Chess Foreman's got Ryan Taylor. Wisconsin. There is Wisconsin right there, folks. Oh, and Ronnie kicks it. And Bennett sent up uh, uh oh. Man. A couple of impact moves happen at the same time. And look at Chaz Foreman coming in there, breaking up in time. And now, Bennett going out with Chaz Foreman. And he misses and Oh, no. Oh, oh, no. Oh! He just got hit with Wisconsin. Oh, man, what a close line. just got slammed by the Cobra in the back suit. Right. Now Taylor coming back in. And Taylor nailing the Cobra from behind. Oh. Takes him down. Beautiful. Now a choke and run. Let's now bring out the worst of Ronnie as uh, we haven't seen him use a choke in a while. And now the Cobra once again. Uh-oh. Oh, man. Double, uh, double moves right there. And, uh... Oh, man. And now... And it going out with, uh... Foreman. Pulls him over.
Oh! Ow! Look at that back breaker. And Bennett and Ronnie wins as Bennett pins Cobra. Wow. What a matchup. The good guys win. Bonnie's busted open, but he's a bloody he's a bloody victor here tonight. Is what these guys have gold around their waist again fighting as they head into the rematches. Of course you got Jerry who's gonna be face off against Abramoff. And then of course you got Ryan who's gonna be face off against Chaz Foreman once again. There you go right there. Force victorious over the Empire. For everybody here, this has been Doyle King at Sea of Friday Night in Chicago.